happy Boxing Day. I'm so tired. Mm, yesterday Very was tired. long, and we woke up this morning feeling like we'd done a day in the park. So yeah, you know, that's Disney for you. So today we are. It's about seven thirty, and we are heading out to the parks. And we thought today we'd probably do a mixture of both. Um, no real plans other than just enjoy the extra hour this morning mm-hmm. in Disneyland. Yeah. Um, what do they call it here? It's extra magic time, I think they call it. So we're going to do that in the quiet, or the relative quiet, Yeah. in the Disneyland park. Um, do a few rides. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think we're going to head over to studios to try and do Spider-Man yeah. while it's quiet-ish. And then we'll just... See Avengers. See Avengers, yeah, and just see where the day takes us. It's our last day. So today will be a full day um, at both parks. If you haven't watched yesterday's or last week's, it was Christmas Day. um, And during Christmas Day, we also booked another holiday. (laughs) Um, So today is Boxing Day. And we're just going to eat what we can while we can before we go back home to reality. Should we go to the parks? Yes. Let's go join a queue. Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Mm. We're literally like one of the first people in the park today. Mm. Within the first 20 people. You probably showed exactly the same thing yesterday morning or last week, depending on when you watched it. Very different to the crowds last night. <laughs> I love it. The castle is so pretty. It's really nice and quiet, obviously crowd-wise, and just there's so much space, so much room for activities. So we're gonna get some photos in front of the castle. Yeah. And um, then we're gonna go and head for some rides. Yeah. Hopefully they're all working this morning. I'm currently trying not to twist my ankle down those um you know those tracks down Main Street. <laughs> they're quite pronounced here. <laughs> I'm just getting continually closer to the castle to show it to you. Hopefully this isn't making you dizzy. Got your photos. It's so beautiful. Mm. I love it. Huh. At this time. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And it's nice and quiet. A specific time. Yes. We're saying it's um, obviously it's quiet because it's extra magic time, but there's, a, there's relatively speaking a lot more people because of course yesterday I guess everyone would have been like doing presents and Christmas morning stuff. Yeah. The difference a, a day makes. Yeah, it, feel, it definitely feels a bit more like people are rushing this morning. Mm, lots of people running. Yes. As Don't always. Run. As always that. No running. So I think we're going to try and do Big Thunder, aren't we? Yeah. That'll um, wake us up. Bit of um, bit of fresh air gushing around the face and then um, it was either whether we went to do Phantom Manor or we would go and do a few of the rides we didn't do yesterday and I think it's probably a few of the rides we didn't do yesterday and then there was that Pinocchio one and and the Snow White one and Buzz those are the rides we didn't do yesterday yeah oh go on then I reckon I can wait five minutes <laughs> settled yes. it's gonna get very dark in a second so uh, you won't be able to see us for a minute here we go! <laughs> Flash, no photo. Yeah, I know. The, we couldn't get our photo pass on Big Thunder, as yeah. fun as the ride was. Um, there was a flash, so we went to get a picture, but it doesn't work. Which is on the one hand fine because it's just one photo but on the other it's very much unlike Disney World where there aren't lots and lots of photo passes or even ride photos so yes and we paid for this it's probably one of maybe what 10 pictures we could get yeah luckily with the new holiday that we've booked we get 10 free photos and yes. that's all we need so we don't need to buy it yes so Big Thunder was great uh, Phantom Man is closed Yes. Um, so we're heading over towards Buzz and um, probably a hyperspace mountain. 
we don't know this because as we've said this trip already we are absolute novices here but um, we think it might be a bit like um, Magic Kingdom where when you get in early you can't actually still get on everything so a lot of things just say closed. Just me at the minute, Ellie's gone to go and do um, Hyperspace Mountain. I don't know how much of the background you can see but it's so well themed, it's very immersive, it's very different to um, Tomorrowland in Disney World. There's another um, check up your bingo card about how many times I said something's different. So yeah, she's gonna go and do that. Uh, it's because the, uh, the wait time was only five minutes and the single ride wasn't open. Buzz is still five minutes, so we'll probably go and do that straight afterwards. She loves Hyperspace Mountain. Um, she was so enthusiastic when she got off it yesterday. It's great that something as good as that ride is so close to home. A lot of the rides, I mean, all the rides are different, of course they are, but to be different and better, I mean, Ellie loves thrilling, massive roller coaster rides um like the bigger the thrill the better nothing phases her this for her is a, is a huge huge win is using the stolen battery cells to energize his secret weapon our mission is to find his robots and his secret weapon and blast them green squadron will retrieve the power cells while the rest of you concentrate on those robots We've done some rides. We have. Um, we did Buzz. How was Buzz? Well, I did um, Space Mountain first. Okay. Yes, that's um, true. And that was brilliant. Yeah. Hyperspace Again, Mountain. Hyperspace Mountain. Very, very good. Mm. But yeah, then we went on Buzz, and yep. you didn't realise that you had to like shoot your yeah. gun rather than just hold it down. Again, so. another difference. At Disney World, you can just keep your button down. But it's also a lot easier to like see where you're shooting because it like. Goes yeah, when you, oh, that, like, when hit, you hit something. That, yeah. yeah, 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 that was good. Um, I won. You did. I actually won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I spent yeah the first bit just like well, I'm not getting any points. And then we did two rides that are exactly the same, just with different. Yeah, so we views. did Snow White and then Pinocchio. Yeah. Snow White was like. It was on fast on forward. Fast forward. It was so quick. Yeah. It was too quick to, I mean, I've, I've filmed it, so we'll see if any of it makes it in, really but quick. like you couldn't see what was going on. No. And then, and then we come off that and went on Pinocchio and it's the same ride, basically. It's the same ride cars. It's a lot, it feels like a longer ride because mm. Pinocchio was a bit slower and it mm. felt a bit more like uh, Winnie. But Snow White was like, they ramped it up this morning and was like, yeah. quick, let's get through this. <laughs> Turn it up to like full speed. It was, it was very yeah. odd. Is it um, supposed to? Is it really that fast? I know, I know. <laughs> That's why that one had no wait time and the other and one had a wait time. And both of them are slightly creepy. Snow White especially is creepy. Was she being sick in the bin? <laughs> Someone might have just been sick in the bin. And I think they work here. Hmm. Mm. I was about to say I'm hungry, but... <laughs> Not anymore. Ugh. But yeah, Snow White is very creepy. It is very creepy. Um, Pinocchio is generally a creepy story. I like mm. to sort of like have Pinocchio in my head like, oh Geppetto, he's nice and mm. um, Pinocchio, For oh, forget boy. Like, the big whale. Um, but actually it's quite a creepy story. Mm. 
we're on the hunt now for some food. I think we're going to head out to Starbucks. Yep. Um, and then we're going to go into studios and see if uh, we can get on Spider-Man. Yeah. And we're probably going to get some kind of elevensies for lunch because yes, we've um, got him dinner's at five kitchen. and after the buffet yesterday and how full it made us, we want to be hungry as we enter yes. it. Ah, we might show you Winnie in a There's second. Winnie. Look at him. There's some random people meeting Winnie like we did yesterday. I love Winnie. Yeah. I love him. It was a nice, nice meeting greet. Ah, pony. But yeah, off to Starbucks because it's outside. Mm, and we're hungry. The hope is that Spider-Man is uh, a lower weight this morning. I saw he got up to 20 minutes earlier. Either way, we've, we've yeah. got time. So. Either way, we'll do it. But yeah, off to Starbucks and then we'll see what other food we get. But that's yes. going to be a lot of what happens is eating. We had a Starbucks adventure. We did. We walked all the way to Starbucks to get there, only to be told there is no coffee. No, no coffee. coffee. No drinks made with water. That's pretty much what yeah, Starbucks is known for. So then we walked away with a tail between our legs. I was very well, sad. My tail wasn't between my legs. I was angry. Very angry. And yes. then we realised there's a there's a pret at the train station. So we headed towards that. And then there's a Starbucks there. So, yeah. the, so the man could have said, literally less than five minutes away, there is a Starbucks. Um, but he didn't. But we found it anyway. We've now entered um, studios. Starbucks in hand and we are walking towards Spider-Man to see how long it's gonna be. I got a gingerbread latte if anyone's bothered. Very important, yeah. Cool de vous voir! Wow! Ça c'est une super vue! Vous voyez? Yeah! Bim! Pause photo! Dépêchez-vous! Je sens mon déjeuner remonter! We've uh, come to Stark Factory. I've gone for some um, vegetarian pasta. I think it's vegan pasta, but it's just pasta with some red sauce. Ellie got these um, tofu noodles, but it's very brothy. And that's from like a food truck outside. I'm gonna eat my noodle broth with this tiny spoon. <laughs> I'll be here for a while. A very big mushroom, tofu, some noodles some alphabet vegetables and a tiny spoon. I just needed to interrupt my meal to let you know there is like an entire bag of pasta in here. Mm -hmm. There's so much pasta. Basically I could eat, I could cut it like a cake probably because it's all just like a big ball of hard pasta. There's loads. Um, well, if, if I finish all of this, I'm going to have a problem later on. The um, smoked tofu is really nice. The broth is good. Um, it feels like the, like there's vegetables in it, so I don't feel like it's that too much of a stodgy, like, crappy meal. Not too much of a stodgy meal, eh? <laughs> Happy with your choice? Yes. Good luck with your bag of pasta. We did Spider-Man. Bonjour. Yes, bonjour. Spider-Man was good. Um, we know a bit more what we're doing now. We were there so like an hour. We were there an hour. It was quite a while. We would have shown you some of what we had for lunch. That pasta was delicious and I did not finish it all. I had to not eat all of my expensive lunch so that I've got room for my even more expensive dinner. My noodles were very nice. Yeah, I, you enjoyed I'm, that. I'm glad, I'm glad I had them. And then talking of dinner, we're walking back over to Disneyland and then we walk past um, Pim <laughs> Kitchen where we're having later. Yep. So we asked the man at the door, we said, oh, you know, look, can we go and see what options there are for later because we've got a reservation? He was like, yeah, no problem at all. So we just walked past this massive queue and there's loads of cool looking food. Yeah, there is. Um, they and do a really good job. It's super like calm in there. Like yesterday mm. in um, Plaza. Plaza Gardens, mm. it was chaotic. Mm. Absolute I mean, yes, it was Christmas Day. Yeah. Um, this feels a lot more spacious in there. Yeah, just like a lot calmer. There's definitely yeah. a lot that we can eat. There's lo yeah, um, loads. I'm very excited that there's actual French fries. Yeah. They've got some breaded cauliflower that look like chicken nuggets. Those are both on. things off of the kids' buffet. Kids but buffet. How do you know? You sure can't no stop one's us. Stop me. They had um, some like. Is it couscous? I don't know. Something. I was too distracted by all of the desserts. There's I mean, there's at least. Lot. There must have been at least 10 different puddings I want to try. 
yeah, I'd say there's all, all in sorts all, there's of probably like twenty different. There's puddings. red. There's the red cake, blue cake. There's blue custard. Yeah. There's like an Oreo cake. There's like. Actual we're not sure cake. if it's like edible custard it, or whether it's. There's a, a sign that says blue custard. But so it doesn't look like anyone's had it. I don't think you. Um, Pouring the blue custard on. I, sorry, ma'am. Yeah, I don't think you'd put something you can't have in the fridge with all the other food you can have and label it. It, yeah, look, it looks delicious. We're going to get very full later, so we have to not snack in the next five hours. Yes. Which is, it's going to be a challenge. It is. It appears everyone is doomed at Phantom Manor. Even you. And notice this. This chamber has no windows and no doors. Um, strange series of events led us to just doing Phantom Manor. Yes. But it started with us going to go and meet Jack Skellington. Yes. Um, dressed up in his Santa gear. Well, we got there and uh, we started queuing because we were like, oh, there's not much of a queue um, compared to like, other characters we've seen. Yeah. And then I said, oh, there's no photographer. Mm. Okay. All right, well, never mind. We'll, we'll do it anyway. And then he started talking and we were like, hmm, don't know how I feel about this yeah. now. Phantom Manor was closed mm. and then it opened so we were like, we're oh, just going to skip instead. the queue and uh, not go and see Jack and not go on Phantom Manor. Yeah, there's quite a nice small queue for Jack because it's quite tucked away. Yeah. Um, and we were coming down to Phantom Manor to see what was happening because they thought it was closed but it looked like there was people inside. Uh, and then it was those people inside that were queuing for Jack. So yeah, first of all, no photographer. Shall we leave? No, we'll stay. Uh, he talks. Shall we leave? Uh, no, we'll stay, but don't film me. That's what you said. <laughs> yeah, don't film me. Um, Awkwardness. And then it opened, so we were like, right, well, that's we're going to get on Phantom Manor. And the Phantom Manor was just it was a walk. It was a walk on. It's great. So that's a good, good time saver. edition you've sold me. I do really like him. Some tiny Pandora stuff. But I do really like the um, Spider-Man. Like the sparkly Spider-Man. He's fun. Do you want to be in the Avengers and have your picture taken? hotel and um, it's almost impossible to be allowed anywhere unless you've got a room here. We've been very much imposters. So the one bar that I wanted to go to which was the Skyline bar that's closed until five and then we tried to get into the superhero place and they were like no and then we went to the other lounge and they said have you got your room key? No. And then they directed us to here which is the Bleecker Street lounge and then it all got a bit weird and confusing because you never know whether you, like you sit down and do they come and take your order or like there's a bar there with like pills and stuff so do you go to the bar so I went to the bar and she just sort of looked at me a bit odd and then she said what do you want so I ordered my cocktail and then she was like what where did you see this so I had to go and get the menu and then she 
came back and she was like, no, I just needed to know what table you were at. You seated us. We're still here. So anyway, I've ordered a cocktail. It is the Merry Mint cocktail. And you've got a fancy bottle of water. It's supposed to be fancy water because it's a normal bottle of Vitel which they have here, but um, it's a art of Marvel, basically Marvel water that they charge you an extra dollar for. So I said, oh, and a, and a bottle of water, and she said, oh, how many glasses? One or two? I was like, the Avengers water? Oh, she was like, yes, one or two glasses. Oh, just one, please. <laughs> the Avengers water, though. We don't want that tap, tap. water. It's all a little confusing. You can tell that we don't go out very often and, and know how things work anymore. We're not lounge people. Is it a bar? Is it a restaurant? Do I wear my pyjamas? It's lovely in here. Um, it's a nice hotel. It is, yeah. It's really nice. I don't suppose you're allowed to take the glasses. What's this? Uh, a Merry Mint cocktail. It's like Bailey's and white liqueur thing. Afternoon. Bonsoir. Is that what afternoon is? No, I think it's good evening. It rained a lot. It did. We got quite wet. Mm. So we took shelter in the art of Marvel, mm. which was lovely. Well, you'd have, you'd have just seen that we went into the Belika Street Bar, but that's why, because mm. it was raining. Had a very nice minty cocktail. It tasted like a mint milkshake, so I had to be civilised and sip it rather than <laughs> down it. Yeah, it was really nice. It was just like a nice little stop off, and I cannot wait to stand there now. Well, um, it might not be the next time we come, but we have booked a trip here Yes. in um, 2020. <gasps> Four. 2024. 2024. We've got dinner at five. Yep. But it's now about three ish, so we've got some time not to kill, but we can use it. We're, we're much we're closer to. Yeah, it. we're much closer to the hotel than we are the parks now, so we're going to come and um, just get a few bits ready so that tomorrow morning we are. We, yeah, we can just like shoot off straight away. Also, tonight, that it's not then like hanging, hanging around. Do you know what I mean? I quite like Lovely the fact week. that. Um, a number of the things there are locked for the um, like off-site guests. It's nice that the stuff that you can only do as a, as a hotel guest. Well, I think so you'd appreciate that as one. <laughs> oh, it's got cold. My face is cold, my nose is red, and I've got a spot on the side of my face. Yeah. It keeps catching on my zip. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> um, we've been back <laughs> to the room, uh, which is probably why it feels so cold. Um, we have packed. Yep. Um, we had just a bit of a rest. And then we are heading, it's, it's just gone half four, it's probably a bit later than that now, um, but we're obviously heading into studios for our five o'clock uh, dinner reservation. For our Gruffalo I know. meal. I'm half asleep, I don't know if I need to be eating an all-you-can-eat buffet, but... Wake up, mate. That's what's happening. Wake up. I'm sure the smell of the food, well, we know, I mean, it looks great because we saw it earlier, so... I'm all in. You are in. I am all <laughs> in. I mean, there's so many desserts. Delicious! I mean, hopefully I'll be able to I mean, I'm, show you some stuff. I know, like, I already feel like a weeble, so yeah. what's one more meal? Yeah. He was very thorough checking our tickets. Yes, well, we everyone's a, tickets. Some of them, some of them you don't think they check at all. We had, um, we forgot to say earlier, when we went out to the train station to get Starbucks, yeah. there was a man, like, trying to, like, buy our ticket. And, and he was like, have you finished with it? And we're like... No, we're going back in. He was like, but I'll buy it. I know, I'll give you cash. I don't care. No. So, no, you can't have my ticket, sir. <laughs> I keep this. Yes. For me, the reception so lady told me I could keep it. She did, it's got your name. I don't know where we're going to, it'll go in a drawer somewhere. Yeah, and it's got my name on it, like fraudulent. What if from this, and he then like took all my personal details. I don't think so. Turned into That will go in a drawer me. and years later, um, yeah, I come home one day and he's there in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is who I live with now. I just realised my comment, my comment might have just sounded very sexist because I said you're in the kitchen, but oh. that's what happens after work. Whoever gets home first gets goes the into food. the kitchen and starts dinner. So I'm home first, so it's me. Yeah. So that's, that's okay. That's what that meant. Moochie does the, the washing. I don't do the washing. No, I've got a lot of washing too after this holiday. He is the washing lady. I got yes. I am the cooking lady. I've got to tackle the war on our dirty laundry. And I'm the DIY man and yes. the car man. You are not. I've seen 
and everybody on their table seems to have a dangly pretzel and I hope we get a dangly pretzel. So we get a drink with our thing that we booked. Buffet. <laughs> yes. Um, so you got water, I got a peach tea, they bring you a little pretzel. Now that we've ordered our drinks we can go up and get the food. So let's go. I'm starving. The kids section and we've got some obviously just lots of stuff that we'll be able to eat. Um, Chippies and I chips, can't wait to eat them. Meats and cheeses, salad, it's freezing, nobody wants salad. Oh, Move hummus. along. Okay. With a hummus with a crisp in it. Yeah. A giant pretzel sandwich and a massive hot dog. They make your own, they, or not make your own. They'll make you some pasta. A burger that they'll cut up for you. Some kind of chicken pie. Mini burgers. These looked interesting because these are these are plant-based crab. Yeah. So we're gonna get some. Stuff with some prawns, green beans with onions, and then various other hot items. Lots of bread rolls. That's fun, like all the vinaigrettes and stuff are all in like science jars. I can't remember the term for them. No. Cheeses, crackers, other things, puddings. So you've got like red sort of infused cake with the, see there's drips people oh, have been okay. using the custard. Yeah. We've got some blue infused cake with some blue custard. We've got some this kind of. This is a vegan. Oh, a vegan, vegan pear, pear thing. Pear crumble. That's a praline thing. No, pecan. Pecan, that's it. And What's that's, that? Uh, it says the wasp cells with honey. So okay. That must be some kind okay, of like honey cake. Oh, that's there as well. Yeah. Some honey cake. Some jelly, like mini things, like mini donuts. Oh, mini mandolin. Mini mandolin. Just some like genuine Red actual cake. cake. Gigantic strawberry. Oh, yeah. Key lime pie, chocolate cake, almond filled with vanilla ganache, a big donut, big blue donut, Oreos, and a big Oreo. Yeah. I couldn't help myself. I've got quite a lot. Um, so I got some French fries. I got some barbecue cauliflower bites. Then we found these. These are vegan, like chicken strip things. Green beans under there. There's a potato thing. Oh yeah, these are um, plant-based crab cakes. Mm. A very um, modest food selection at the moment. Um, but I got, look at the blue cake with the blue custard. <laughs> it just tastes like cake and custard. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Um, chocolate cake and the vegan pear crumble. I've just gone bananas. I've got chocolate cake, some bit of donut. I got the same cake with the custard. That's like an Oreo cake, a crumble thing, and a mini donut. That's way, way too much food. It's absolutely ridiculous. You'll notice there are two plates there. <laughs> In fairness, I had a lot more on my plate, and it's all gone. I've left that because I'm, I'm beyond full, not because it wasn't nice, it was delicious. I'm a fat bloke, but I've eaten way too much. My teeth hurt, I've eaten too much sweet stuff. It was all worth it. 100% this place is fantastic. You probably can't see, but it says that's a wrap behind us, so that seemed uh, apt. Yes, that's, um, that's it for us from Walt Disney Studios. Yeah. I feel sick, I've eaten way too much maybe, pudding. Maybe more on that later, <laughs> when we're less moany about it. So we came in studios yesterday with not yesterday. No. We came in studios two Christmas days ago Eve. on Christmas Eve, not knowing what was here really, having no. very little expectations and just happy to go with it and see what it what was here. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a small park. Yeah. Um, you could do it in half a day. E yeah, easy. Um, unless you wanted to spend a lot of time queuing for one or two rides. Spider Man has been consistently busy for us. Yeah. Um, then you've got that crush roller coaster. Yeah, which I didn't end up doing. Didn't get to do. Um, By the time we were here, we fine. could have done it this morning, but we chose Yeah, we chose, else. chose to do the other park instead. It's a good park. We've had a lot of fun here. Um, and we know there's going to be some additions, like with Frozen and stuff coming. Oh, yeah. Um, so that'll be a big, a big deal. Ratatouille. Ratatouille's great. Um, the Avengers stuff was really fun. Like that, yeah. that area always, that area feels very like alive. There's always something going yeah, on. There is. 
every time we've been there there's been a character out or some kind of interaction yeah um, and that feels very kind of like old school I remember being like a kid going to, to Disney and I w- said before where it's kind of you were just pop out you were on the like, corner yeah and the, okay. there's another character yeah. whereas now obviously it's all very regimented so it's really cool to just see similar I think to Batu, where you just walk around and all of a sudden there's a character or there's the stormtroopers above etc yeah it's okay. a great addition to to Disneyland some great food places as well yeah um, I would have to say that I mean we'll probably maybe we'll properly review um, him kitchen later. later in the warm um, yeah. but simply it was it was excellent like yeah. wasn't it it was really really good and when um, he said when we're less moany it's only because oh, we have been gluttonous eating I'm so too full. much and I'm I honestly so feel full. like somebody needs to wheel me home as we do um, a burp would turn into a sick and nobody wants I that I just did a little sicky burp <laughs> the food oh, is here it's so hard to say no more more Okay, well, we'll keep walking, yes. walking it off. But we're trying to say goodbye to uh, Studios Park before we go over to say goodbye to Disneyland. Yes. Three days is, well it's not very much but it's still flown by. It's been, I mean look how magical it is mm. behind us. It's been so good. Different, yeah, but still nevertheless amazing. Mm. It's um, hard to prepare yourself for something that you don't know so yeah. um, we, we're, you know it's different but how does that actually feel? You won't know until you're here. It's just different. A di- and different doesn't have to be better or worse. It is just a different park. It's a you. It, it's its own park, and and it has its pluses and its minuses. Yeah, I think this park is absolutely beautiful. It mm. is. It, it, in some respects, it's more pretty than is that. Is that good English? Prettier. <laughs> is probably what most people would say. Prettier than Walt Disney World because the attention to detail here, that like the tiny details, yeah. are very, very, very good. Mm. There are still things that I. Don't get me wrong, like Walt Disney World is number one. one. You know, it's something you said about um, the attention to detail. It's strange what they see as being important attention to detail and what they don't. Like finishing touches everywhere, everything looks really well themed, and it is. But we were saying earlier, we went on, it might have been the Pinocchio ride, and we also saw it on their Big Thunder. But you can see the people operating like the vehicles, etc. Which, you know, Disney will hide all of that. Disney World hide all of that like magic if you like whereas here it's just it's just on show like I was expecting it to like to feel small mm. and insignificant and it, yeah. d- it definitely isn't even the castle's bigger than I thought it would look oh, like oh so. yes so we are going to wrap up here walk back to the hotel and yeah. then we'll probably do like a yeah, like we'll a probably, rundown yeah wrap up wrap up the holiday like it. we normally do at home but we'll do it from here while we're still here and it's fresh yes not in a hundred days <laughs> like last no, time no we'll do it when um, we get back so yeah goodbye disneyland park um, but not goodbye we to you we will see you again because we've got another holiday i part. know and that probably won't be the last <laughs> um, we'll see you in a second in the room evening from the bed good evening we've said goodbye to the parks shall we start off with how was dinner massive <laughs> it was pim kitchen was excellent great vegan vegetarian options mm. and they even had some like fake chicken we've not been many places where they've had like a meat substitute no the fact that they had a couple in the one place like the mm. crab cakes and the chicken beef strip things it breaks up the normal choice of uh i mean i think we say this a lot when we saying about vegetarian or vegan options it's that sometimes you don't want a burger but that always becomes a thing that you compare it against and i realize a burger 
is a meat substitute. But when you're avoiding that, you're often going for like a, a noodle something, as we had. So there's a few, t- or a a lot of Mexican type food. Yeah. So to have some and differences. Es- especially here, there hasn't been a lot of meat substitutes. Mm. But the, the food options are excellent there. They're really, really good. I mean, we only did two buffets. Mm. But as a comparison, they are wildly different. Yeah, Pim Kitchen is great. It's... In all in all forms, like in in both the main sort of the savory options, the amount of choice mm. and the sweet options. Um, not to mention the fact that the food's just fun. Like there's yeah, a lot is. of fun oversized things or small things, which is obviously part of the theming. Yeah. It's not just a buffet. They've even like made it an experience. Was, yeah, they have. Was great. And it costs the same. I mean, I, I know it gets Disney prices get a lot of stick. And the prices have just gone up, so it makes it very... It's a bitter pill to swallow, I suppose, but you can't do anything about it. Yeah. It's, it's not going to go back down to what it was, so I mean, you either pay the $45 per person we or We definitely Euros. ate our food today. I, not not only would I would I eat there again, yeah. I, I want to eat there again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not today. <laughs> no. And not tomorrow. Not but, for a while, because, you know... But when we come back... Yeah, um, yeah no, it was it was really, really good. What about you for good things, bad things? What, like, what sort of stands out in your mind as like, ooh, or... Mm. I think good things were just the surprise at the park itself. I'm, I'm talking about the Disneyland park specifically. Mm-hmm. But I may have said it in a different clip on, an, on another video, but it's very, it's its own park. Uh, and that's great. It didn't feel like a a replica of uh, Magic Kingdom. And even though it has very similar areas and very similar rides, they do feel that they are unique and belong to this park. The theming and the general feel of a park, I suppose, would be my positive. Mm-hmm. Um, my negative, and, and I think this is more than just... It's not Walt Disney World because I wanted to think of this in a way that wasn't like it's a negative just because it's not Disney World. But I think generally speaking, the cast members would be, and I don't want to be unfair, but there is a huge difference between the cast members here and at Walt Disney World. And the way that I described it to, I think I was talking to mum the other day, but the way that I would describe it to try and not be like rude about it is here, the cast members... Um, are at work and I think you feel that they're at work whereas in Walt Disney World I think the cast members become part of your experience and sometimes mm. they can even like heighten the experience yeah there's obviously a language barrier so that doesn't help sometimes but you know we've been bumped into by multiple cast members um, they're just busying themselves at work they're mm. not here they're, they're, they're here to do their job <clears throat> not necessarily here to enhance the experience of the guests so I think that would be my Yay and my nay, okay. as you as you asked. Um, what about you? Uh, well, my biggest yay is, like, I've said it multiple times. the The park is beautiful. It is so picturesque. It is just, I would say, more so than Disney World. Disney World is massive, and mm. you can't get over the, the vastness of it. But there, there is just something about. The, this type of attention to detail for me. Um, my like meh is um smoking in the park, guys. Oh yeah, there's loads. Smoking in the park, like it says you're not supposed to, and mm. there are like weirdly there are designated areas within the park. Mm. Um, like they used to be in Disney. Yeah, but people are just like walking around, mm. and it, this goes back to you saying about like the cast members are there just doing their like. Mm. They're just at work. No one is there, like, to enforce. Mm. The, the pushing and shoving. There's a lot of pushing and There's shoving. There's a lot of pushing and shoving. Yeah, or um, a lack of personal space <laughs> when you're sort of... Cu- waiting you know as you do at disney there's a lot of waiting for a parade waiting for fireworks even just waiting to queue for a ride or some food and people are just like you can they're literally breathing down your Mm. neck i would say another plus for me is um a surprise on how good some of the rides are Mm -hmm. big thunder 
that is great. Yeah, it's, I enjoyed it's that a lot. It's same but different to ours. Like it's faster, it feels slightly longer. Mm. Um, there's more bits and bobs going on. And even like we had to sit at the front today and it wasn't like when you have to sit on the front of Big Thunder mm. in Disney World, you're like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you still got flung around a little bit. Hyperspace Mountain, what can I say? It was excellent. Mm. Really, really good. Cool that it's Star Wars themed yes, as well. Yes, it is. It's, it's a very, very cool ride. Spider-Man... That's an excellent ride. Mm. Um, yeah, that was that was great. Yeah, Ratatouille. Again, it's nice to be like where it mm. originated. How, how did you feel about the um, the language of the on the rides? It doesn't necessarily bother me. Um, I think it probably bothered me the most on Spider Man. Yeah, I was going to say um, that. I know the story of Snow White. I know the story of Pinocchio. Like, yeah. it, it tells you the story should go in round. Spider Man, however, I was a bit like. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's mm. going on. And yeah, I that's didn't one... realise until the end there was like little, little subtitles. Yeah, that was a weird way of doing it because a lot of them are, they'll jump between English and French. Yeah. But that one was just all French with some, like a, like a, a ticker of English word. Yeah. But if you can't see it, you can't see it. Overall, like, it has been, like, mm. I've had the best time. Would thoroughly recommend it. And we'll be doing it again. Yeah. If anyone is watching this as a Walt Disney World person and are put off by some of the things. And I'd be interested to know if there's anything, and feel free to leave a comment, if there's anything that you have questions about. Because you or never you're not wanted sure. to go to Paris. No, you I, weren't, you I, were never yeah, bothered. I always felt like it would feel like um, Walt Disney World light. <laughs> um, and I like Walt Disney World because it's big and there's such a lot to do there. And this always, feel, always felt like it would feel less because there's less to do but it doesn't feel less it just feels different yeah um, and i think it will feel even better as the studios part gets a bit more love and attention to it as it sort of expands because mm. that does feel a bit um lacking and uh, i can't imagine what that part would have felt like before the avengers stuff was there definitely um something that well we've already rebooked to go again yes so i mean if, um, if you need more of a, an endorsement yeah. than that we are coming back and we booked it while we we're here so it wasn't even like we got home and there was some sort of uh yeah like oh we post holiday it. blues like, we booked it while we were here yeah so um if you've reached this point um well done. i'm surprised but thank you mm-hmm. yeah um thank you very much for watching and for coming on these uh these few christmas days with us so yes. it's been christmas eve christmas day and boxing day that's very different for us. Yes. I hope you've um, you've all had a wonderful Christmas yes. and a very happy New Year. By the time you see this, yes, happy New Year. Yeah, thank you to everyone that's maybe new because you found us through Disneyland Paris stuff. Um, Go back and watch our old stuff. Yep, yeah, we go to Disney World <laughs> more than Disneyland Paris, but who knows? I know that we will enjoy reliving this holiday yes. for the next few weeks. Um, and so, yeah, thanks again to anyone that cares to follow along. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Good night.